What's going on guys? Get you 1230 here with more Grand Theft Auto 5 and today I'm going to show you something very cool. This is going to be how to get a free tank in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now I'm not the first person to upload this. A few other people have already uploaded it, but I'm sure there are many, many of you who have not seen this yet. So here's where you want to be to do it. We are just north of the military base, just north of Fort Zancudo. And uh, yeah, you want to be on this ridge looking thing right here where I'm at. And basically this is easiest to do with a sniper rifle. A sniper rifle can be uh, purchased from ammunition for $20,000 if you do not yet have one and basically uh, as you can see here these tanks circle around the military base and you basically just want to sit here and wait until you see a tank circling around so sometimes it'll take a little while to find one other times you'll spot one right away it took me about a minute here and just like you see me do you want to shoot it one time after that you want to run down this hill and hopefully not fall like I did and uh, yeah you basically want to hide and get behind some cover now here's why you don't just stay up there in my experience at least when I sat there and I watched the tanks the military base gates never opened up you know the tanks just kept ramming the gates but they never actually exited the base so I found that when you run down here and you do not watch them they kind of just you know teleport outside the base just you know they spawn outside of it and then they come to get you so I chose to sit right between this building and this oil tank here or whatever that is and uh, basically you know you just want to sit here for however long it takes them to get out of the base and come up and find you for me it took like a, another minute so I will speed this part up and so this is basically the waiting game for the next minute. Um, I still have my star, which is good. That means they're still coming after me. And here I just peek my head over to see if they're actually coming. And uh, sure enough, after a little while, as you can see uh, right now, here comes the tank. I've got my one star. So I still, okay, there, it went away. I didn't want them to see me if I had one star because then it would go up to, you know, two, three stars, whatever. So my star is gone and I've got two tanks here. Now you've got to be careful. Once you steal the first tank, the second tank will try to shoot you and blow you up. So I was a little hesitant here. I didn't know quite what to do or how to do it um, because you know you can try to steal the tank but like I said that first one or the other one rather is gonna try to shoot you and blow you up so actually what I did here was I waited it out for one of them to leave I was just kind of watching here and as you can see that one leaves and then I kind of get glitched underneath this tank uh, I was actually afraid I was gonna die for a second uh, it just kept knocking me over it's kind of ridiculous but since the other tank is gone I was able to steal this one and uh, look at that just that easily I was able to get you know, get that tank and only one star, so that is awesome. I expected to get, you know, three stars, maybe even more once I actually got the tank, but as you can see, uh, I only have one star. So, at this point, you can drive the tank into the city, do whatever you want with it. You can blow people up, you can blow up NPCs, real people, uh, just anything you want to do. And these tanks are extremely durable, but I did find out that they're not indestructible. Uh, I ran around in mine for maybe 15 minutes, and finally, after dozens and dozens of explosions on me, you know, cars just ramming me and exploding underneath me uh, it finally exploded so it's extremely durable but it is not indestructible so anyways guys uh, thank you for watching uh, stay tuned for more Grand Theft Auto 5 tricks tips stuff things in the future and uh, yeah I hope to see you next time